That's simple, reach higher consciousness by going to the toilet 10 times. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you wanted me to react to Raw Vegan Rising with his video 5 Benefits of a Fruit-Based Diet. I am aware of Raw Vegan Rising. He has been a Raw Vegan for a while now. However, I haven't seen this particular video. Let's have a look. Is this what you want now? That's what I want. I want to be Raw Vegan. Let's go. Hello, amazing, beautiful people and soul family from around the world. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. We're going to talk about the five benefits of a fruit-based diet. And oh okay. my goodness, there's hundreds of benefits of a fruit-based diet. But in this video, I'm going to stick to the most critical, most crucial ones that you truly need to understand. This is life-changing information. Okay. You now... All healing starts in the mind, okay? The mind dictates what the body does. Now, if we fuel our body and we start to activate our cells and get our cells oxygenated and empowered with the electrical activity. Empowered cells. Yeah, I agree that everything starts in the mind. However, if you don't put in proper nutrition, nothing will happen. Electrons in raw living foods, it actually starts to activate our mind even more, gives us more mental power to see the broad, bigger perspective, which gives us more... True as well. There are plenty of studies on vegans and vegetarians where you can see 20% less brain weight. So therefore, I absolutely agree with you. You need proper nutrition to have a healthy brain. Ability to stay in a healing modality. So it's like a feedback loop, okay? We use the mind to empower the body and then the body back empowers the mind and we spiral upwards and upwards and upwards to higher consciousness and connection with spirit and a broad perspective of how we can contribute to humanity. Very fascinating. You hear this over and over and over again in the raw vegan slash fruitarian community. However, you see no results. I said it before, if you would experience spiritual ascension through diet alone, freely, durian rider, raw bliss, etc., etc., would be the most spiritual people. They would be gurus. However, you see nothing of those sorts. Salvation does not come from diet. For generations to come, this is the healing that we're all looking for, okay? And it comes from a fruit-based diet. If you end up on this channel, you probably look for that type of healing. However, most people that are still somewhat sane do not look for healing. But right now, I'm gonna get into the top five benefits to just help you understand how this works and how Let's... I thrive as a raw vegan. Let's jump in. Number one, optimal digestion. Okay, yes. it's all about digestion. We got to move it through, move it through fast, move it through really fast. The faster your food <laughs> moves through your digestive system, the healthier you're going to be and the more... Exactly right. This is something that John Rose preached as well. If you eat a mango, it has to come out within minutes and ideally your poo will look like a mango. You can't make this stuff up. This is really raw vegan ideology. Those people believe that if the fruit comes out of you just the way that it entered, then you are healthy. Man, this is a perfect sign of you not digesting anything. Do you understand? If you eat plants, 80 to 90% gets excreted. Yes, it happens fast. Most of the time you get diarrhea, explosive diarrhea through veganism. But if you eat meat, you absorb up to 90%. Obviously, not much will come out. Your body will be nourished. No, this is not a competition who can run faster to the toilet. Activated, you are going to be. Bottom wow. line, if you eat slow digesting foods, cooked foods, starches, animal products, you're going to be like a slug. Your mind isn't going to work very well. And you're not going to have that activation of the mind to take you to a higher place. What you're talking about is not the activation to a higher place, but a sugar rush. And to help That's heal. That's it. Okay. So we've got to make sure. 
The food we're eating moves through the digestive system extremely fast. You know what the other benefit of that is? Tell me. Is that we can, it cleans the digestive system very well. So mm. we can absorb and utilize nutrition better. Are you aware that fiber actually rots in your colon and it converts to saturated fats? To butyrate, that is a fact. However, meat does not sit within your colon. Yes, it digests a bit slower, but with it, it gives you sustainable energy. You get more nutrition from less food and less digestive effort. What kind of nutrition do you find in fruits? Please explain. Where's the protein? Where's the saturated fat? Where's vitamin D? Where's vitamin B12? You have none of it. It activates us. It activates the healing awareness that we have within. It activates your insulin secretion. Yes, we are all healers. That's what it does. Okay, and it starts with optimal digestion, the root system of our body. Okay, primary, primary healing source of our body is our gut. How about you would eat raw meat, which digests perfectly fine, so you would have no digestive effort and you wouldn't even need any healing? Hmm. All right, number two, optimal elimination. Elimination is the key to all healing. What we're not eliminating, we're accumulating. That is ridiculous as well, because it presupposes that you're putting something into your body that needs to be eliminated. Do you understand? Your food is already toxic. This is why you want to flush it out fast. The cooked vegans are even worse than you raw vegans. I give you that. However, still, you want to flush it out. Sickness is not only an accumulation, but it is a symptom of malnutrition. The symptom of waste accumulating in the body. Now, the mainstream medical narrative says that all the different symptoms are a different disease. And we have different pharmaceutical drugs for the different diseases when they're all just symptoms of one disease. The accumulation of waste, which creates inflammation. And that means that the only disease that we suffer from is poor elimination. Again, this is false as well. As I said, most people nowadays suffer from malnutrition. Not because they don't get enough calories. No, no, no. They get too much calories, but they don't get enough micronutrients. That is crucial. However, you know me. I'm always honest on this channel, and I do agree with your stance on Western medicine. Poor elimination is the root cause of all of your suffering wrong mentally physically spiritually and emotionally if we can eat fast digesting foods clean out the digestive system and have optimal elimination it's going to activate it is a false god this is what you see here again they worship nutrition don't get me wrong this channel is about nutrition as well however once you eat your species specific diet you don't worry about it anymore. It doesn't matter if you eat chicken or if you eat beef or if you eat fish or what have you. That doesn't matter. Then you can really focus on the things that are important in life. For example, building a family and providing for that family or truly aspiring to finding God within. You don't need any fancy nutrition tips in order to reach God. But of course, this is not what they are interested in. They're interested in spiritual ascension, which is a pipe dream that they chase and never reach. On a very high level, we cannot have disease in our body if we have incredibly good elimination. Period. Bottom line, we have to eat food that supports immaculate and exceptional elimination for an immaculate and exceptional connection to our consciousness. It's that simple. That simple. Reach higher consciousness by going to the toilet 10 times. Number three wow, is optimal microbiome. Okay, the microbiome is all the microorganisms that create our body, the DNA and the, um, the molecules that make up our body. Mostly, the microbiome doesn't create the DNA. Microorganisms. So if we feed the microbiome fruit, which is high in fiber and high in water and mm -hmm. high in enzymes and high in vitamins and minerals, we are no. going to empower those microorganisms to activate our body, activate our cells. Also, the enzymes in fruit bring electrons into the mitochondria of the cell. If we want to feel exceptional energy and vitality on raw food, we just simply need to eat high enzymatic food, which is fruit. It's so simple. The microbiome is the whole... Are you aware that all the fruit that you're eating 
<laughs> is not found in our natural environment, especially not as white people. We never had access to that fruit until the Industrial Revolution. Do you get this? On top of that, those fruits are modified. They do not occur like that in nature. Look into wild bananas, wild berries. There's very, very little flesh on it. You have a bunch of seeds. All of those fruits that you see in the supermarket are modified. They are created by us. So how can it be that we need a man-made created fruit in order to ascend to higher consciousness? Key to our well-being and our consciousness, and we share this body with ancient microbes and we cannot underestimate <laughs> again if they are ancient microbes why do they need modern day fruit <laughs> what we feed those microbes if we feed those microbes the wrong foods dark energy foods meat and dairy and cooked foods and starches <laughs> and processed foods we are creating a dark heavy rain cloud over us okay <laughs> and it's very hard to escape when the microbes demand that food and we but how do you explain <laughs> but how do you explain that pretty much all ex-vegans feel better a lighter mood they feel happier they're not hangry any longer it seems like this dark cloud has been lifted after they go ex-vegan they're you know makes you in the hunger craving strange. of that food it's not even us we want light and happiness and consciousness and joy and freedom. That's what we want. But the microbes keep us down. So be very careful what you feed those microbes. Fruit will heal them. Okay, fruit will read. You can tell me what you want. You are starving. Everybody knows that. You're a human being after all. If you eat only fruits, you're hungry constantly. How do I know? I did it. I did it myself. I was a raw vegan myself. I was a fruitarian myself. I was a regular vegan myself. I was starving constantly. And after years, you would think that those microbes would adjust to the input. But they never did. Because guess what? I am a human and everybody feels the same way i talked to hundreds and hundreds of ex-vegans ex-fruitarians even raw vegans that have been raw vegan for a decade they all admitted after they snap out of it that they've been malnourished they were constantly starving this beautiful day where you ingest flesh for the first time again after starving yourself for so long is a memory that you will never lose in your life it is beautiful. I will never forget my first piece of sushi after being vegan for four years. All of a sudden, you will realize that you've been eating only side dishes. Structure and rebalance your microbiome. Number four, optimal energy. Okay? Impossible. Energy is the key. And not just energy. Energy that comes from within the cell. Energy that feeds our mind. What is real energy? Energy. You are aware that within the cell you have ATP storage as well, which requires creatine, which you do not have in your diet. Again, you're just running on sugar. You do not have optimal energy. That feeds our mind. You actually don't want to feed your mind. You want to calm your mind. Energy is freedom from the body being burdened so the mind can be activated. And when the mind is activated, it can see the healing pathways before us. Healing our... No, yet again, you want to calm your mind, not activate your mind. Your mind just chatters and tells you all kinds of things. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative. It's all BS. It's always a lie. You want to calm your mind so you can truly see. Physical body, yes, of disease and ailments, but also healing ourselves healing the future healing our potential and our purpose because you know why we came here to this planet tell me to contribute to the energy to contribute to the fabric of reality around us when we eat i came here to serve god fruit and we have very fast digestion and we get more nutrition and more energy from less food and less mm. work we have freed ourselves up to contribute energetically to the fabric of reality how most of those fruit boys travel to southeast asia or to hawaii munch on fruits become malnourished and go back to eating meat wasted a bunch of years tension of love and joy and peace into all existence and the future we need to be thinking many generations ahead. Eating fruit serves the future because it serves us in this present moment where we can put 
our purpose. Fourth, right here, we can put our purpose into the present moment. Wow. There is no- All by eating fruits, that is amazing. I really get into the present moment when I eat a steak. Better way to do that than to eat a fruit-based diet. What, why? Okay, number five, optimal mental health. And mental health sure. is simply having our full faculties, having our full yeah. joy, feeling good, feeling optimistic. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who struggles with anxiety and depression and feeling lack of motivation. Again, if you're into studies, you can check it out and find that most vegetarians and vegans are depressed. You're going to say, well, they're not raw vegans. Most raw vegans and fruitarians are super anxious. They're nervous messes. Why is that so? Because they're not getting any B vitamins on their diet. No proper vitamin B12. Again, no vitamin D3, no DHA, EPA, no cholesterol, colon, no creatine, nothing. And therefore they become very unhappy, very nervous, very depressed. Knowing where your purpose is and maybe not even having a drive to figure out where your purpose is, you need to eat fruit. Fruit gives us the highest level of mental health because it gives us that energy which feeds the higher mind and that brings us into our higher self. Absolutely. And you need a bunch of workers that eat meat to farm those fruits for you. <laughs> then you need a couple of transport drivers that eat meat and bring those fruits to the supermarket. Then you need a couple of cashiers and employees within that supermarket to sell you those fruits. Maybe you drive to the supermarket in your car that was built by meat eaters. But don't worry about it. You're living up to your highest potential. <laughs> then we can see the bird's eye perspective. We know sure. exactly where to go and what to do. <laughs> it feels good. And there's nothing more rewarding than feeling a sense of contribution and purpose. That's what heals mental illness. That's what heals apathy and depression and anxiety. When you have purpose. I agree. When people look up to you. Do you know when I went raw vegan for the first time, I created my group Raw Vegan Heroes. This is my group coaching program because I knew if I had people around me that I was coaching, hundreds of people in my group, that I would be accountable to them. If I had a binge on cooked food and you know I spent a couple days eating some rice or potatoes or something, I'd Wee. be like, I can't go back to cooked food. All these people are counting on me. We've all been there. I was a raw vegan slash vegan YouTuber and I felt the same responsibility. But in the end, you understand that it is your life and you cannot malnourish yourself for your vegan audience. But of course, this will keep you trapped longer. You created your own prison. You have to understand that it's accountability bad, to other people on this healing lifestyle is actually how we go from where we are to where we want to go. That's why I created the Raw Vegan Heroes community. It's all ego, of course. He wants to be a raw vegan healer. This is his persona. He believes he's super spiritual, but in reality, he is super attached to his persona. And now it's always the serves same. hundreds and hundreds of people from all over the world. The Raw Vegan Heroes community is a coaching program that you can join. And when you join, you get support from me in weekly live streams. I have a 14-day meal plan filled with transitional cooked vegan, high raw, and fully raw recipes. Over 35... People really need a plan for eating fruits only. <laughs> plus recipes wow. that you can learn about how to be a fruit-based raw vegan, how to be an undenatured um, raw vegan. It's such undenatured raw vegan by eating <laughs> denatured, unnatural, seedless fruits. All right, I saw enough. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Long enough as it is. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. All right, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.